time is 103 on July 17th. And we have a chase day upon us, thanks in part to SPC, who I hate to be an SPC chaser, but today I'm all over it. Uh, the first two morning outlooks had zero chances of any kind of severe weather, and uh, 1630 threw a 5% tornado risk. And a red box has just been issued literally in the last two minutes. We'll probably get it on the weather radio here in a moment. cells here so that's kind of where we're aiming just passed through last chance severe thunderstorm warning issued for these storms we have some stuff behind us which you may or may not be able to see that uh, we're kind of leaving in the dark for the time being but we'll be east it can easily drop south so this is kind of the area we're watching right now
called it a chase after the hellacious hail experience down uh, near Burlington. Uh, fortunately, the uh, woman in the uh, sedan station wagon uh, was not seriously injured. Uh, she was very shaken up. Uh, her and her infant were fine. Uh, they took him out in an ambulance uh, and did get the car uh, removed from the ditch. So they're going to be fine. Uh, the other woman in the van uh, did get a hold of her husband, and uh, she's fine as well. So fortunately, no serious injuries in that hailstorm. Uh, I came out unscathed, um, as I obviously did not get into the brunt of the core, uh, having to stop to uh, render assistance to those uh, people there on the side of the road. But uh, with everybody okay and just damaged vehicles, uh, successful chase. Uh, time is 5.53, so one of the beauties of today is I will actually be home uh, before sunset, uh, which will be really, really nice nasty storm brought heavy rain, hail, even a tornado to parts of eastern Colorado today. 7 News storm chaser Tony Laubach was in the middle of it all, and this is what it looked like in Kit Carson County as the hail just started coming down. Tony sized up that hail. It measured nearly three inches. More storms just south of Burlington that produced that really large hail. It was all